Titan Medical Incorporated has developed SPORT, single port orifice robotic technology. This technology includes two continuum robotic arms or snake-like robotic arms, an imaging module, and a surgeon console. In the following video clips, we will demonstrate various attributes of each component as well as demonstrate exactly how the surgeon controls the robotic arms. First, the video will demonstrate several important attributes of the robotic arms, including their remarkable dexterity, the workspace coverage, the strength and rigidity of the arms, and the ability of the arms to work together to complete a task. After deploying the arms, they can be separated for the purpose of triangulation, which allows the tips of the two instruments to work together. This video demonstrates the up and down area of workspace coverage for the arms, as well as the right and left area of coverage for the arms. In this gallbladder mock-up, we can see the right-sided robotic arm maximize the extent of its dexterity by reaching behind the gallbladder and nearly bending to 90 degrees from its insertion angle. This amount of dexterity is of great benefit to both surgeon and patient during parts of many operations that require delicate, precise dissection. Precise dissection requires both gentle handling of tissue and accurate location of the instruments. To further demonstrate the dexterity and precision of this technology, we use a model consisting of small plastic rings and colored conical posts. The task is to remove a ring from one post with one robotic arm, then gently transfer the ring to the other robotic arm, and then place the ring on a different post with using the second robotic arm. This is analogous to a module used to measure surgeon proficiency in various types of surgery. However, in this case, we are testing the functionality of the robot. In addition to the finesse demonstrated here, robotic arms must have several other critical attributes, although these other attributes must not interfere with the ability to gently and precisely handle tissue. Specifically, robotic arms must be both strong and rigid. In this clip, we see one of the robotic arms easily lifting a weight greater than one pound, yet there is no bend in the arm that would interfere with precise, predictable control of the tip of the instrument on the arm. It is important to note that these two robotic arms and the imaging module, including lighting, all pass through a single incision less than 25 millimeters in diameter. Clearly it is important that a surgeon control the events in a surgical procedure. When using SPORT, a single surgeon can control both robotic arms and the imaging module. To do this, she sits at the surgeon console. The console, as seen in this picture, includes a stereoscopic viewing port and two master controllers. In this example, we see the surgeon with a master controller in each hand, and with each controller he controls the corresponding robotic arm. The robotic arm reproduces exactly the movement of the surgeon's hand, wrist, and forearm, and this gives the surgeon very precise control of the operation. The seven degrees of freedom of the arm are more degrees of freedom than any available surgical robot and will increase the precision with which the surgeon can perform a surgical procedure. Throughout this example, the surgeon here demonstrates the control of movements in and out, right and left, up and down, and even altering the orientation of the instrument as it connects with the tissue. Here we have demonstrated a very accurate and predictable one-to-one -one correspondence between the surgeon's input and the movements of the arms. One of the key factors in the success and safety of robotic surgery is the training of the surgeon to use the robot. This clip demonstrates the control of virtually simulated robotic arms with the master controllers. Although the simulation technology was initially used to guide development of various aspects of the arms, it will be used in the future for both training surgeons to use the robot and for assessing their skills while using the robot. By using the highly dexterous robotic arms in combination with these master controllers, the surgeon can perform very precise surgical procedures. The other essential component is a 3D high-definition image. The imaging module for sport includes two high-definition cameras and integrated lighting that will deploy above the position of the two arms after the robot is inserted through the single incision. Once positioned, the imaging module can pan, tilt, and zoom to obtain the optimal view of the surgical site. Here the robot is being introduced into a simulated abdomen and the camera module is deployed up above the surgical scene. The robotic arms are deployed 
and the camera module is then tilted down to view both the robotic arms and the surgical site. The imaging module and the view of the surgical site are entirely controlled by the surgeon, which maximizes the efficiency and safety of the operation. The pictures concluding this video are illustrative of the efficiency with which Sport can deliver high dexterity surgical robotic technology at the bedside and a comfortable ergonomic interface for the surgeon.